During her time working as TV producer on Lorraine, Helen Addis helped countless women living with breast cancer tell their stories. But her own diagnosis in 2018 still came as a complete shock. Yeah, Lorraine and her colleague, uh, colleague supported Helen from the moment that she told them. And they embarked on a campaign to help women today and in the future beat breast cancer. Well, before the break, they set off from the studio next door and I think <laughs> they've made it. Come in, you two. You hear that? They are well done. <laughs> <laughs> they made it. So, whilst you get comfortable, yes. let's have a little look at what you've been doing and right. what your next fundraising idea is here. Have a look. Yes. Today it's been quite emotional hearing the choir and knowing things they've been through and just through my family's experience as well. The women are sounding absolutely amazing. I'm really proud of all the work they've done. Such a beautiful song. Yeah. Do you know what? I can't wait for everybody to hear this. Oh, well um, and Lorraine is here now, along uh, with her producer of 14 years, Helen. And I've got to say, well done, you two. I mean, this has been going since 2019. It's and all to do with Helen. <laughs> She's amazing. Well, you haven't stopped. And you've done some <laughs> incredible things. And congratulations on the single. But, Helen, this all came about from your diagnosis, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it did. I was diagnosed... Well, I was working with yeah, you, Lorraine, yeah, and yeah. I was getting ready for work one morning very early, because we start very early, <laughs> had my shower, I was putting my moisturiser on, and I found a lump. And you know what? I was 39, mm. uh, had no family history of breast cancer at all, relatively fit and well, don't drink that much. Nope. Um, and so I wasn't worried. I thought it must be hormonal. Went to see my GP, who agreed, it's likely a hormonal thing, but let's get it checked out. Two weeks later, I went to see um, the breast specialist who did a mammogram and a, a biopsy. Um, and in that time, actually, in those two weeks, another four lumps had grown. Oh, so I thought, jackpot, it's got to be hormonal because cancer mm. doesn't do that. Anyway, um, yeah, that was two weeks later, I was told the words I never, ever, ever thought would come my way. And that was, I had grade three invasive breast cancer. Oh, my God. And my world just... And you yeah. must have been thinking as well, gosh, at that point, here I am, 39, if this can happen to me, this can, can happen, happen to anybody. Absolutely. And, you, you know, you're lucky, you work with Lorraine, you've got this incredible platform and you were like, right, not only am I going to get myself sorted, I'm going to yeah. make it my mission yeah. to help other people yeah, and spread yeah. awareness and get people to check themselves. Yeah. Lorraine, I know you, when you work on a team like this, people are very close. Um, of course. Do you remember the moment that oh, we yeah, told you? Oh, yeah, I do. We were really shocked because of what you were saying. You were mm. so young mm. and also so healthy. Yeah. And it just came as a shock to everybody. But from the moment, you've been on a mission and it's, it's been <laughs> yeah. extraordinary. And I have learned so much. And especially with the, the words of the single, when you look at the lyrics... It helps all of us to sort of... I've understood so much more about mm. cancer and what to say mm. and what not to say to people yeah. and, to you know, when they're going through cancer anyway or any yeah. terrible illness. It's really, really helped us all to have a better understanding. But every year I say, what's she going to do next? Yeah. And it's like, we started off with a bus, didn't we? We, we had a baby bus first, yes, didn't we? we? Yeah. And um, the hot air balloon as hot well. Air the boob balloon. balloon. Boob balloon. Boob. Yeah. And then we claimed the O2. Because oh that gosh. looks like a massive boob. This is the kind of mind that Helen has. So we so keep good. to every, every year, we try and push it, push it, push it. And um, uh, we've had now 66 women contact us to say that they found their cancer as a result of seeing the, the Change and Check campaign. God and the them. majority of those women are under the screening age, which is so important because actually the only people that were going to find their cancer... Was them. themselves, yeah. exactly. Yep. Yeah. And we haven't had any men come forward yet, but obviously it affects men as well. One yeah. man every single day in the UK is diagnosed mm. with... So 66 lives saved. They've, they've checked it's amazing. their cancers early. It's absolutely yeah. extraordinary and it's all down to you. I know she's very modest, but it is down to you. And the fact that you've been there mm. 
and, and you've been through it all mm -hmm. and you know, you just know what it's like. That has yeah. really helped and they're great women. Well, let's talk about these women then. So the <laughs> choir is actually made up of 20 women who, who found their breast cancer because of your campaign. Yeah. So that must be quite extraordinary, uh, having these women all come together, all who have got this bond that yeah. they share because of something so awful, but also their passion to yeah. pass it on and make a difference and make a, a change. Absolutely, and there's something about music that we've found in this process that has been so yeah. therapeutic for yeah. us. Some of the women are still living with breast cancer, um, and uh, so it's been a real challenge for them to make all the rehearsals and everything, but we're like a family now and yeah. we um, support each other. And yeah, we had a song written, we sat in the room, we listened to it and there wasn't a dry eye. Some yeah. of the lyrics oh. just... It was really emotional. It was it? so emotional. Yeah. And I, one of the women, um, Debbie said that, um, it's be, she said, it's what I have wanted to tell my husband for four years and I oh. haven't managed to get it out. And sometimes there's, there's another line in there that said, you don't choose to win or lose. And that is, you know, that is the very realistic um, part mm. of breast yeah. cancer. It's very powerful. That's, yeah, it really it's is. Brilliant. Yeah. So powerful that you even took the choir to the London Palladium. How was that? Oh, that was so good, wasn't it? I know. I had to, I had to say it on here because they had no idea. So I, we had to tell them, so they sang on our show and I said, yeah, that was fine, you sang here, that was amazing. But, yeah. but, you, you need a bigger platform, we said, didn't we? Yeah, <laughs> so we went onto the Palladium. Does it get bigger than that? It doesn't. And, no. and all I kept thinking about was when we walked out, I thought there's 2,250 people <laughs> oh. looking at us. That's over 5,000 boobs looking at us, <laughs> and they're all going to get checked tonight. And that's, you know, that's that was, what it's that all was about. the main thing. So you are on the hunt. I mean, you've, you've obviously done this, and you've been to the recording studio, but you are on the hunt for a famous lead vocal. Is that are, right? Are you suggesting you might do it. Oh, right. I'm 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 on. I can barely speak. I can't. <laughs> Let alone sing. And now yeah. they're going, no. <laughs> I mean, if, if I could, I would. I'm, I'm a bit like you, Lorraine, oh, in the singing okay. stakes. I think you're probably better than better than mm. I do. Do you sing? Um, no, don't try and pass it to me now, but I've heard your husky tones. I think you can sing, Holly. No, I am very toned out well, when we, it comes to we singing. We are definitely... Who would you like? Who would you like? Oh, my goodness. Any, any, anybody? Just, do you know, somebody that's connected to yeah. the cancer would community be would be amazing. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't rule anybody out. I mean, Kylie, if you want to call us, yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah, come on, Kylie. <laughs> that would be, be, nice be good, it. wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be. That but would it be is good. available to pre-order. Uh, this is on the Lorraine website. That's isn't right, it? yes. Well, well done. done. You can pre-order well the... Um, <laughs> and I have to say that it's a charity single and all proceeds um, go to a breast cancer charity called Future Dreams, which supports um, secondary breast cancer. Because it's secondaries that actually unfortunately, take the lives at the end of the day. Uh, and, Helen, anybody who's watching, our viewers that are watching today and think, I, I want to check my breasts, what, what should they do? But I, went, I actually went to the doctors to check mine. I said, oh, Did you? just have a check? Yeah. yeah. I didn't really well, know definitely, what I would 100% say that. Um, and I would say, don't do, always do it on the last day of your period or certainly after your period, because leading up to your period, you tend to have more lumpy boobs. Um, so that would be the time to do it. Um, and... Yeah, you're feeling always from your collarbone, armpit, as well as underneath, behind the nipple, never forget that area. Mm. Um, but it's not just lumps, it's rashes, it's Changes. discharge. Anything it change. that's not normal for you, you yeah. always see, isn't it? You've just got to know your normal. And you can always get your man to check them. I mean, my husband knows my boobs better than I do, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> Make so it he, fun. Would, he would notice if there was anything. And that's fine, isn't it? Yeah, you said that was OK. Whatever it, it takes. Whatever, whatever it, it takes. takes. I always put a reminder once a month in oh, my diary so that comes it's up really so I make sure, that make sure that I check as well. And also, if, you, you know, if you're if you thinking, well, I don't really know how to do this, on our app, we have got our video yes. there as yeah. well, which takes you through it step by step. It's really good. Yeah. And share that with your friends. If you're in yes. parents' what app groups, just send that off and share <laughs> yeah, it. Because I think when everybody does it together, that's when you make a big difference. Yeah. Well done, you. Thank yes. you. Congratulations on the single. Amazing. Lorraine, it's you. lovely having you in here. It really is. Like it. The single <laughs> you can buy on the Lorraine website as well. So go and do that. You we cannot wait to see what you two have got up your sleeve. Oh, no. I don't know what you're having in space. I'll be in space. There'll be something. There'll be something. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up after 20.